Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, April 19, 1865, W.A.P. Dillingham, a U.S. Treasury agent, delivered a eulogy for President Lincoln on the bluffs in Natchez. John Wilkes Booth had assassinated the President on April 12th at Florida's Theater in Washington, D.C. According to U.S. Sergeant Samuel Swain of the 58th U.S. Colored Troops, the news of Lincoln's murder spread a universal gloom over Natchez. All public buildings and most private ones were draped in mourning, and loyal citizens wore badges of mourning on their left arm. Swain noted that on Wednesday, April 19th, a procession composed of the commanding general of the federal troops and his staff, all the troops of the post, civic societies, fire companies, school children and citizens marched through the streets of Natchez and assembled in the park on the bluffs to hear Mr. Dillingham's address and remember the slain president. Hi, I'm Ray White of Cedric Cathedral High School, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.